Uh, again, like Keith said, this is a, a much longer uh, presentation. We're going to try to squeeze it into 50 minutes, so we're going to actually speed this process up a little bit. Um, you should be already, just like um, in the earlier political cartoon exercise, you're looking for details. We want to train kids to find those contextual clues and start to make sense of the data. And so one of the first questions you should be asking yourself, if you haven't already, is are they the same place? We want to train our kids to look for details. So if I click back and forth, you'll notice that there are some similarities in, this, in the roads of the, the, of the photograph, the lines that are on the photograph. So I'm going to give you this bit of information. And, and again, normally this would take a much longer period of time. This is the same place. These photographs were taken of the same location. Now here's the other question that I hope that you're, that you're messing with is, when was the photographs taken? Another way to ask this is, which one was taken first? So I need some people to um, make a suggestion. So uh, Julie was asking different time periods. Yes, these are two different time periods. You guys need to decide and, and, and type in the chat box which one you think was taken first. And I, I obviously have them in a particular order. It doesn't mean that's the correct answer. So. Um, there's, I guess I'm going to call this the darker one and this one the lighter one. So we're going to use the term darker and lighter. Which one was taken first? And I don't know, Julie, are there actual people in the room with you? There's like a, a group or is this people all over the place? All right. I'm, again, with the amount of the way that we're interacting with each other via chat, it's a, it's not quite as much fun uh, because usually when we do this, there's a lot of arguing about which one uh, is the one that was taken first. I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you the answer because we're gonna move on to some other stuff. The the darker one was taken first, and here's what I want you to do. So this one was taken first. This one was taken second. So now that you have some idea, it was the same place. This one was taken first. The lighter one was taken second. So those of you who guessed darker, yes, high fives around for everybody. You guys are awesome. The rest of you, um, you're almost awesome. Um, now the question is really quickly, and, and again, we don't have a lot of time, but and you can't really see it unless you've zoomed in on the link that I gave you on the website. Um, why are they different? I'm going to tell you the answer at the end of our presentation. But this is the kind of problem that I want kids to mess with. Uh, I want to give them, a, a, this is a really a hook activity to a much longer uh, lesson and unit that I would be, that I could be teaching in either U.S. or world history. And so, you know, looking in the chat, um, hurricane, bomb drop, sort of disaster, exactly. Those are the kinds of questions and those are the kinds of um, things that I want kids to mess with. One of the teachers that I've worked with actually uses the term academic discomfort. I love that term, academic discomfort. Um, we're not sure what the answer is. And if I would show this, by the way, with to kids in my classroom, I'm obviously not going to tell them the answer either until tomorrow. I don't want first hour getting the answer and then going to second hour and telling them what the answer is. And so um, we want to create that academic discomfort in the brains of our students, um, one person said it's an, an itch that has to be scratched. Uh, we want them to start to try to figure out the answer, um, and that leads to better questions. So we're going to come back to this particular set of photographs later. Um, I'm not going to even give you, normally we'd start talking about dates and other kinds of evidence that we can pull in to help us answer the question. So it, it literally is, I, I, will, I will tell you this, and you guys can maybe between now and the end of the session go out and try to Google it, I suppose. Um, I will tell you the difference. There's a 10-year difference between the dark image and the light image. So this one was taken first. This one was taken 10 years later. So we'll come back to that one. Think about, think about that for just a little bit.